Boy, it's cold in here. And for those of y'all who do know me, y'all do know I would much rather 100 degree weather than this 30 something degree weather that they have. Even though it's like 45 degrees or so right now, but I'm not gonna complain. And since this is not, y'all leave car you going all down. While I'm waiting on the car to idle down, cause she's kind of mad too, cause it's cold outside. All temperature says, what is that, 50 degrees? Nah, probably like 60 degrees. But I'ma let her warm up. But like I said, before I start today's video, I do wanna just let y'all know that I'm PJ Morrison. I do make automotive content, especially on the Genesis Coop platform. And my goal to being on YouTube as of now anyways, is to make some of the best, if not the best, Genesis Coupe content that you can find on the platform today. And I mean, not to brag or anything, but I feel like I'm almost there if you ask me. And y'all probably gonna be like, Ethan W makes good uh, content. So does Kevlar82 TV and Dustin Davis at 3.8 before. Well, I mean, rest in peace, Dustin Davis, but you get the gist of it. Like, I'm trying to make some of the best content out here and that's just what it is. But we're about to go ahead and jump into today's video, which is gonna be the top three tail light designs that they have ever made, in my opinion, for this platform. And starting off number one, drum roll please. We're gonna go with, of course, the stock VK2 tail lights. I have them, I'm not getting rid of them. Even if I do change my tail lights one day, I'm still gonna keep these because I mean, it's so many ways you can customize the design and the look of these tail lights, and I'm very grateful for that. You can just rock them stock, like factory stock, and they're just clear and red. They're gonna look good. You can tint the outside red part like I did and leave the silver. That's gonna look very good. You can tint the whole tail light. That's gonna look good. You can paint the housing black. You can do a bunch of different variations and you can even make it look kind of like an Audi style tail light by cutting the blue wire inside of the tail light and that's gonna let only the bottom portion, the little swoop, the little swirl or whatever it's called, is only gonna let that illuminate and it looks pretty dope if you ask me. So with that being said, all these different variations of the tail light, that puts it at number one in my book. And I know I'm kind of late saying this, but if you do want like custom design tail lights that you can't get like anywhere else pretty much on the market, then just hit up NTX Glow. This is not a paid partnership or not. I'm not getting paid for this pretty much. And so uh, that just shows you how good they are. Kane actually got his tail lights from there, which I'm about to tell y'all about in a second because he has the second tail light that I'm gonna talk about on this list which so happens to be the Eagle LED tail lights. With these, I'm not like the biggest fan of them. I mean, I am because I would have gotten them if Kane didn't get them, but I'm like not the biggest fan of, I guess just the stock clear lens, like regular housing. I don't know what the red, I don't know. It's something about that that I don't like. And looking at these pictures on my phone, the clear lens does look good with the black housing. I'm not gonna lie, that's probably what I would've went for. Kane went with the tinted lens and the black housing, which that looks pretty dope for him. But for me, I, I don't know, that's just not my style. I just don't like how dark that looks for me. For me, personally, I would've gotten the clear lens with the black housing. But as far as the red lens or red housing or just the red in general, I'm not the biggest fan of red on tail lights. That's why I tinted mine where you can only see barely any red. I don't know, that's just me in my opinion, once again. I would say that these are pretty much the more aggressive looking tail lights in this whole group that I'm gonna list. And for that, I like it, especially when paired with like a carbon trunk, side skirts, diffuser, uh, and all this different kind of arrow and stuff. Other than that, the tail lights, I mean, they look dope, like I said, which puts them at number two because you just can't beat the stock look. And I know this video is gonna be pretty short. I forgot to tell y'all that, but you probably figured that out by clicking on it or looking at the timestamp in the bottom right hand corner of the thumbnail. I don't know how long it's gonna be. I've only been out here for like 10 minutes maybe, recording this and looking up stuff and just going about that. But if you happen to stay this far in the video, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up because you already know 
I told y'all I'm trying to make some of the best Genesis Coop content on this platform. And the reason I'm not doing anything in my car right now is because it's cold outside. And my hands just can't take that. I'm kind of like, you know, not the meatiest guy that we have on the platform. But <sighs> this cold weather, bro, it do something to me. Number three, the tail lights that I think I put in the top three, but I actually do not even like. And y'all are probably gonna grill, grill me for that in the comment section, but it's the spec detail lights. I just don't like them. I, <laughs> I think they're highly overrated. And the only reason they're on my list is because y'all like them. I don't like them at all. But if I went with them, I would probably get the black housing with the white markers because those just look the best in my opinion. They fit pretty much every look that you want to go for except for the more sinister like black and red look or probably some yellow I don't know it's like they only fit certain cars if you ask me and you can get these also uh, customized with NTX glow I seen them where they have like this rainbow effect type deal that looks pretty dope I wouldn't do it but that looks pretty dope you can also do that with the eagle tail lights that I told y'all about too and the stocks, have I ever seen any stocks like that? I don't know. If you have stock tail lights with the rainbow effect, I'd like to see those. So uh, comment your Instagram in the comment section and I'll look at those. Just let me know what, what I'm going there to look for. <laughs> so there you have it. My top three tail light designs for the Genesis Coupe platform. Sorry BK1s, but your tail lights did not make it. I actually was not a big fan of y'all's either. But you did look good whenever it's all tinted black and you can only see the lights because the light pattern and light design was very good on that car. It's just the overall design of it was just not aesthetically pleasing. If you disagree with my top three or the list that I just gave y'all, let me know that in the comment section below. But I'm about to go ahead and wrap up today's video because I have to get on the road. That's why I actually started my car up and came out here. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and kick off your shoes, stay a while and subscribe get a friend to subscribe anybody with a genesis coupe that likes vlogs or needs to learn how to do something to their cars send them to my channel they uh they won't be disappointed any 370z owners that are in the area of like 100 miles away from louisiana or closer send them my way i'll be sure to well in mexico i'll be sure to beat them up in mexico uh, other than that, this is just about where I'm going to end today's video. So always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank you all for watching. <laughs>